Do you ever feel like you've gotten in too deep with a new piece of music? What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and we're taking a look at a wonderful new piece written for me by the great composer Patrick Neer. Patrick is well known in the bass world as a composer, performer, and teacher, and he's got folks like Ted Botsford and Jory Herman of the Los Angeles Philharmonic regularly playing his works. Patrick recently published a set of four concert pieces for solo double bass, which we will link up to in the description below. And one of them, titled Divertimento for Jay, is dedicated to me. How cool is that? So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into this piece. I'll play through it. I'll go through and point out the different challenges and rewards that I got learning this piece. Let's dig in. Before we dive in, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Modacity, which has been my practice app of choice for the past several years. I was in a real rut of not practicing before I discovered Modacity, and it just totally kickstarted my playing. I use it every single day when I practice. It's gotten me more organized, it's gotten me more consistent, and it's really helped me to achieve my goals. We have a special code for lifetime access to Modacity that's linked in the description below, and thanks for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's dive into this recording. Here we go. 
So this opening theme is actually my name. If you go through and you take the musical alphabet and then you put the regular alphabet on top of it, A, B, C, F, G, H, I, J, that first note, that C would be J, and then A, and then G, so on and so forth. I, hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, that is my name in musical form, which I think is pretty cool. I love the variety in Patrick's music, the time signature changes, and then just the thematic development, motivic development that he has. Uh, very cool. Sits great on the bass. I'm sort of in that third position. I call it at least that neck block region for a lot of this stuff. He took, uh, he was not overly cruel on me in terms of the difficulty. It's not an easy piece, but it is a doable piece and it sits on the bass pretty well. Some cool double stops thrown in there. I like the sort of phasing effect. Kind of sprinkling in some of that theme. Some whole tone action. You can see that you can see the tension in my face. It's a bad habit that I've had for years. In fact, it used to be worse. I used to very actively watch my left hand as it moved up and down the base, and I would move my mouth. You can sort of see my jaw clenching throughout. That's when it gets challenging, by the way. Uh, but I used to actually like follow my hand with my eyes and kind of move my mouth, so it looked like I was having a conversation with my left hand. Hopefully, I've broken that habit mostly. A little dragon Eddie, whole tone, a little character change. Kind of reminds me of Sanson, Carnival of the Animals for some reason, and this theme again. I love these double stops. And then a real change in character here. A little D minor. Cool harmonies. And see, everything sits quite well in the bass. A few challenging intervals to tune, but nothing, nothing, it all did just because of where it lays on the bass. It, all very friendly. In so many musical characters, colors being explored. Uh, this D to high C sharp. Ugh, pitch, Jason. Another cool, this cantabile section. Rushing a little bit. Should be 60. Too much coffee, I guess. I love this motion. There's this B natural. Bitch. I decided to just do it in one take. Come what may, so... actually intentionally decided to record this a little before I thought I would be ready because I'm actually playing in person, whoa, for the first time since March of 2020, and I'm playing this on a recital next week, or actually, it'll, I'll have already played the recital by the time this video comes out, but I thought making a video would be a good way to prep for the piece, which it's certainly, I think I've, I think I've come a bit further than when I recorded this, I recorded this a couple weeks ago, so... It's a cool little line here. Now these intervals are a bit tricky. Yeah, you can tell. I did not successfully do that so well, but nice little harmonic. Then we kind of pick up. A little challenging to play that in tune there. I didn't play that in tune, but go back to the original statement. I love how it rings with that open A. Whoa! <laughs> this is the most technically challenging of where it sets up that moment right there, moving to C-sharp. This is a little bit tricky. This reminds me of the planets for some reason. Was it Jupiter I'm thinking of? Fun piece to play. 
That's a look inside this new work by Patrick Neher. We have the music linked in the description below. Check out this video of Patrick's wonderful progressive duets for bass students. They start super easy and they develop throughout. He worked on these with Celito de Jesus. Very cool music. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.